people, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mitch here. I'm going to take a few minutes to go over Thingiverse.com. Now, Thingiverse.com is a digital model database. So all the models here were created by users on programs like Tinkercad or SketchUp or SolidWorks and then uploaded to Thingiverse open source, which means that other people can come and download these models for their own usage. Um, just some quick examples this particular day. Um, see what's featured. We got a baby Yoda. We've got a little origami panther, a COVID-19 3D printed mask, hose adapters. That actually might come in very handy. Um, a goose keychain holder. You name it, you can probably find it on Thingiverse. These models are designed for 3D printing. So you can download these and send them to a 3D printer. Let me just go over a quick example. So let's click on Baby Yoda, because who doesn't like Baby Yoda? And you'll see the author of it, when it was uploaded, and down here, the author has been nice enough to include some pictures of the actual 3D print once it was completed. I love it when they include either a ruler or a penny or a dollar bill, something just for scaling, so you can kind of see how big it's set to. It'll also give you a preview of what the actual digital model looks like. And then, if we click on Thing Files, you will see that this author has provided a .obj, a .object file, and a .stl file for downloading. Both of these types will work with the FlashForge printers that we'll be using. However, we try to stick with the .stl file. It gives us a little more flexibility in some of the settings I'm going to teach you guys later. So if you wanted this Baby Yoda, you would simply click on Download and save them to your downloads. And then we can open that up in FlashPrint, and I will show you how to do that in a later video. Now, the other thing we can do, in the top right-hand corner, you can click on Sign Up, this little drop-down arrow over here, and log in. Because you already have a school provided Gmail, you do have a Thingiverse account technically. You can link your school Gmail with Thingiverse. So you're going to click on log in. Sign in with Google is right here. And because I'm signed in to my SAP27 email, if you have a different email account through Gmail, that's fine. You'll notice I'm now signed in with my Gmail. Now I've already set this account up. You would need to go and add your name and a little bit of information when you do the sign up process. It is very straightforward. What's great about that? Once you have an account, you can collect these things. In other words, you can add this to your own personal collection. So if I click on collect thing, I can create a collection. For instance, I'm going to add this to my decorations one and I'm going to save it to my collection. Now that is saved. And if I go over to all of my collections by clicking on this arrow and going to my collections, you'll see here's Baby Yoda. I've got a few small collections that I've started, different things I'd like to do, things I've printed for my own kids, different puzzles I've done, and a whole bunch of different gadgets that I've done. If we go back to Thingiverse, you'll see that a lot of these are actually very useful. For instance, a COVID-19 mask, given the current state of affairs, very useful. This hose adapter could actually come in very handy if you've ever broken a lawn hose or different types of hoses it looks like. You could actually utilize these 3D prints to cut and splice your own lawn hose together or other size hose by the look of it. These are very practical applications. Um, there's also fun things. This looks like it would be part of a chess set or a tabletop game. We got the Mandalorian, Tesla Cybertruck, all kinds of fun decorations that people have created. Or, for instance, it's a good example, a metric screw measuring device. If you're converting standard units or metric units, sometimes it's a little tricky to know what's what. Well, this little 3D print will allow you to do that. So I actually really like this one. So I'm going to just click on Collect Thing, and I'll save it under Gadgets. And save it to my collection. Then, at some point in time, I can download the file and send it for 3D printing. This particular example, you'll notice there's a bunch of different ones. Well, that's because they're in different sizes, if you look in the description right here. 
So I could just simply click on download all and I would have access to all these different sizes. So that's a little bit about Thingiverse.